In case you haven't noticed, the world we live in is profoundly sick, profoundly sick at a physical level, profoundly sick at a mental level, profoundly sick at a spiritual level. And you can call me a conspiracy theorist, it's more like a conspiracy factor, okay? What I'm about to tell you, it's just facts. It is what it is. Whether you believe it, you don't believe it, you know it, you don't know it, it's okay. I don't want to convince you of anything. I'm just going to say it how it is. And I have to watch my language here because my channel almost got deleted at some point. I got two strikes. If I got a third one at that time, done so. There are a small group of individuals and they are in the shadows. You've never heard of them. You've never seen them. The ones you see on TV and everything, you know, these people are puppets. They're mere puppets. The puppet masters are hiding in the shadows. And for various different reasons that are a little bit beyond the scope of this video, in a nutshell, these individuals want to see humanity and all living beings for that matter, animals, <coughs> plants, humanity, humans particularly, and I'll tell you why in a second. They want to see them suffering in pain because this pain and suffering energy is food for certain negative spiritual entities that feed of feed off of that energy that pain and that suffering i'm just putting it out there you can call me a conspiracy factor it's okay i i i wear that with a badge of honor so one of the the main objective of these individuals hiding in the shadow is to keep everybody in control now humans particularly they have a lot a strong energetic field because human, you, a human being is a more evolved organism you can see we're smarter we have more of a bigger brain more intellectual in, intellectual faculties more intelligence in so many different ways and when we feel an emotion we feel it very strongly right i mean human is the only animal that laughs like like a maniac and cries like a maniac so that's our emotional capacity and the, the stronger the pain and the suffering the more energy these beings can extract from humans so to keep this matrix intact control is the main ingredient control is the main, main prerequisite control is the main objective everybody has to be in control humans have to be in control and so the whole socioeconomic matrix is set up so that humans remain in a state of slavery. And that comes in in so many different ways. So financial slavery, um, food slavery. So instead of teaching people how to grow their own, their own food, they, um, they, they set up the matrix so that you have to go work, get money, and go buy food that they give you. That's poison, basically. Okay. So that brings us to our topic of the day. That introduction was necessary, which is semen retention and why to do it. We've talked about why to do it in, in previous videos, but why is it that over 50% of all search queries on the internet are porn related? Why is it that whenever you turn TV on, every, Oh, the over sexualization of, of everything is right in your face. You see this in the mainstream music, you see this in TV shows, you see this in movies. There is a, 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 an over sexualization of, of humanity in general. And it's deliberately designed by this handful of, of, of the people of the shadow, let's call them, hidden behind the, behind the curtains. Uh, this is all designed deliberately to stimulate you in a particular way, right? Uh, to make you want to tease your weasel and bust your load and by busting your load over and over and over you become weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker as as a male you become weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker 
and that's a better slave basically because if the masculine in its healthy form the healthy masculine what is a healthy masculine man what is a healthy alpha male a healthy masculine male a healthy alpha male is one who loves his people loves to stand by what's right stands up for what's right isn't afraid of being persecuted let me give you a few examples to understand Jesus Christ Jesus Christ was the ultimate alpha male in fact I've got a video in the future coming up why Jesus Christ is the ultimate alpha male he stood up for what's right he wasn't afraid to die he used his healthy masculine energy to rebel to revolt against injustice against blasphemy you see and so if we have a bunch of males in society that are in touch embodying the healthy their healthy masculinity their 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 bodies are healthy their hormone hormones are healthy their endocrine system is healthy their nervous system is healthy their seed is intact and that sexual energy we talked about it in a previous video is so powerful it can create a child guys it can create like we're all here because of it look how complex we are as I, look I'm complex you're complex that that comes from that seed of life so when you retain that you experience enhanced levels of energy enhanced levels of, 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 of clarity enhanced levels of creativity and it becomes more difficult for you to remain in a slavery state and so if we have all hypothetically speaking if porn was to suddenly disappear if all men learned how to even have sex without ejaculation if all men learn how to retain their semen whether they're single or whether they're in a relationship if they stopped watching porn if they stopped messing around if they stopped teasing their weasel and busting their nuts then we will have such a healthy masculine energy in the world it would be so difficult so difficult to control to keep this matrix intact because you'd have all these men because look the masculine is independent in its nature so if if all men were retaining their seed and doing all these other healthy lifestyle habits that we talk about in this channel you'd have a bunch of independent thinkers independent critical thinkers in society and they would quickly realize wow this whole matrix is a hoax man it's 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 bullshit why am i working a dead-end job that's pays me peanuts just so I can go and buy like poisoned food basically why am I doing something that I hate and why is everybody else doing it I'm not gonna I'm gonna stand up against this injustice why is there such a an, an equal distribution of wealth in the world and then you know of course a male that's operating in his healthy masculine energy is going to ask all kinds of questions in the same way that Jesus did and then inevitably is going to do his own thing and is going to, you know, again, a healthy male is someone who also loves his people, is going to try and wake up the people like Socrates did. Socrates went around in Athens asking people questions and be like, hey, wake up, wake up, you know? And of course, at the end, they killed him at the end, right? That's what they did, just like they killed Jesus. That's, that's what's been happening in, 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 in recent human history to anyone that realized, hey, I have a brain, I'm gonna use it. An independent thinker, a critical thinker, Imagine all men in society, or at least like e even 20%, that's all it takes, 20%. Imagine 20% of males were doing the semen retention thing, were doing the cold showers thing, were like really critically thinking, maybe growing their own food or living in a community, intentional community, trying to be independent of this socioeconomic matrix. Imagine in a world like that, I'm telling you, the matrix would just crumble in the same way that Isengard, this is a Lord of the Rings reference, Isengard crumbled, Saruman's uh, place, Saruman where, where they built the evil army, crumbled when the trees woke up and they came and they just, they, they basically crumbled down the, the matrix. That was like a metaphor for the matrix, Isengard, right? The whole thing would crumble, man, the whole system would just crumble. And we would have a bunch of intentional communities popping up everywhere with all these male leaders. You know, it's very important as a male leader to be loving to your people, to do the best, what's the, be, in, in the best, in, of the best interest for your people. Kind of like, again, another Lord of the Rings uh, reference here, Aragorn. 
from Lord of the Rings. He was like the embodiment of the healthy masculine, the, the healthy alpha male. Um, he loved his people. He stood up for what's right. He wasn't afraid to die. Uh, and he really fought for his people. He loved his people. And if all males were to embody their healthy masculine, then we would have many leaders popping up everywhere and starting all these intentional independent communities and cooperating with other communities and spreading love and spreading truth and spreading wisdom everywhere. You see? So keep that in. Keep, keep your seed in and make sure you don't just only focus on the seed but on the other aspects that we talk about in this channel. The healthy habits, the fasting, the meditation, the cold showers, etc. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Check out some of my other videos on this topic and other topics. And I will see you in the next video.